Oh man, I don't want to. It's a tassel earring. I think I'm gonna have to snip through this. Okay, that one came out loose. Let's undo this. Yes, let's keep it moving. It's just like a cute little... This is really pretty. I like the lavenders with the grays. Oh, it has a tassel to hold it. I like that. I like the little detail. That's cute. Okay, so here we have... Whoa, this is a big... What is this? Quartz? Agate? Hmm. This is really pretty. This is like... This mean, This necklace means business. Look at how pretty that is. Look at that stone. If nobody wants it to purchase, I'll just remove this and um, put it with my my tray of crystals it's a really pretty piece though no maker's mark and it's not cracked or anything this is not this is um a natural distressed chip in the stone I like that. Very, very nice. Okay, here's another earring. Dichroic glass. Let's see here. We have some birdies. Earring. Earring. This has a price tag on it. $25. <clears throat> Monet wasn't playing around. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna get this one. Is it open? Yeah, it opens. Okay, that's really weird. See what they did there? They glued it. Wait. Oh no, I think some of this some of these charms go inside yeah that's what's going on okay well the bird probably goes in there and the rain yeah hmm it's gonna take me a while to um detangle that Okay, so this is just a crow glass, and this says, Cherish the moment. It's cute. Okay, so I have a question for you guys, if you're still watching. And obviously you're watching because you like jewelry. If you had the opportunity to come up with your own jewelry line, what what kind of jewelry would you want to move? What kind of line? Like, would you want to do like holiday jewelry? Would you want to do like dichroic glass? Like just stick to glass? Would you want to do like Sor jewelry with Swarovskis? Would you want to only do earrings with animals on them? Like what kind of jewelry would you, like I, I think about that stuff. And I always have like these different ideas, but see, I, I'm so versatile that I like, you know, like the 1928s. I like the Victorian style jewelry. I do like the Swarovski. Um, but yeah, you guys put that down below. This, oh, they're little flower stars with the tag. Hmm. So yeah, put it down below. Like if you had the opportunity, whether you weren't, you didn't really want to do that, like, or if that was your next project at your job, if you work, like, 
what what would you want to design um maybe you just want to do tassel jewelry i don't it could like there's so many ideas so front here's another tassel stretch bracelet this is a stretch this is cute these have really nice stones on them just a rope a silver rope um a silver rope um bracelet oh look at that key okay i see you okay so this is um alfani I don't know if I've come across Alfani before. This is actually really cool though. It's the black and metallic with this. It's in very good condition with the silver. Yep. So that's cool. I think this is made to look vintage. Wait, 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 wait. No, it is vintage. I just, I got thrown off by this. It says Japan on the back. Okay. So, let's see here. I'm just going to finish this up. See what I could dig up and pull. So, it looks like it's a lot of earrings. There's the matching earring to this one right there. A lot of tassels. What's this? 2020 Wounded Warrior Project. Um, didn't we already get that earlier? So here we have a star. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Pieces are just flying everywhere. Okay. This is a necklace. Here we have a silver tone necklace. This is actually Vera Wang. Okay, so here we have another earring that's going to complete the, um, the pair. Very, very cool. Here we have an owl. It's marked. This is marked. I don't know what to, oh no. It's just the. Um, no, it's just the, um, the, it's like, I thought there was letters right there, but there's not. Here we have some brass hoops, a little owl. Okay. Here we have a stretch, stretchy bracelet, but it looks like it's about to give out. This looks like um a deepa. Mm -hmm. Deepa. So here we have a earring. I don't know if that's part of the look, like a hammered vintage metal look. This is all tingled. Owl. Look how dirty my hands are. This is pretty. This jewelry has a lot of gunk on it. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to get pricked by the earrings at the bottom. So here is a very, very sweet, well, I was going to say necklace, but it's not. It's an inklet? Yeah, a, du a double Ugh, DNA. Um, a little heart inklet, but it's missing a charm. Here we have, oh, okay, so these are... These are um, Italian charms. Nikki, she had a cake. She had a lot. Merry Christmas. Um, these were all stainless steel. Oh, what I could see. These came out like in the early um, 2000s. I have mine still. She was a swimmer. That looks like a birthday cake maybe. Love soccer. Okay, there's another earring. This is interesting. So it's just a magnetic chain um, bracelet. It's in very good condition though. Here we have a beaded stretch. Here's the other tassel earring. Oh, look at how cute this is. 1928. <laughs> That's cute as well. It's made to look like that tarnished look this one here we have some iced out faceted um beads the stone's missing on this one Yeah, it's not marked, but it's just like the liquid gold look. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so there's a lot of... Oh my god. There's like a lot of loose little... Um, hmm. I'm trying to think if I should just split this video into another one. There's like a lot. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it. Well, here's a ring. It's an owl, but it's missing its stones. Here we have a green glass. Um, this is tiny. This must have been for a little, little girl. Here we have some other glass AB stones. Here's the other earring to that one. This one's actually pretty cool, and they had they have them together so that's nice let me see who makes these give us a name there's no name but they're nice I am going to reclip them so they don't get lost here's the other basketball earring the other Hmm, okay. Oh, this is Monet. I mean, it just felt so nice. I was like, this has to be like a, a good, decent brown. It's Monet. I don't know if you could tell. Right there. Feels really nice. Clean and no wear on it. So here are a bunch of little earrings. 
Oh, look at how fun this ring is. It's a moon glow earring. I mean, ring. Earrings, rings. I'm getting my words mixed up. Oh, Kelly, there's your gold stone. Put that to the side. Okay. Um, let me see here. Um, I'm just gonna pull out whatever's left that's like big because this looks like Trafari or Monet it's Monet it's just the bottom is just like all loose like this that's so cute look at the little turtle Those are cute. Pie Monet, too. Ooh, we have a star earring. No, it's a pen, a lapel pen. Um, let me just go through this really fast. What does this say? Oh, this is, um, Kirk's Folly. Oh, huh, that's interesting. It's just one pin, though. Okay. Here we have a... Jerry Lou? Never even heard of that. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Alright, let's see. So, the rest is just, um, these are cute. Just single earrings, probably match, oh, look at that one. That's interesting, I like those. Um, just to match up with the singles I have, and here's another little stingray. Oops. I've had these errands before. That's so funny that I got them again. I wonder who makes them. Oh, girl, look at you. Mm-hmm. So, it's just... Here's a pair. Yeah, they're just little earrings. Um, that's pretty much it. There's like a few more pieces and a watch band, a stretch. Oh my goodness. What is this? Here we have a gold rope, um, bracelet. Like Monet, this is fake, but Monet, even though it's not like real gold or silver, feels better than this. Like, quality goes a long way. Whoa, what's this? Here's another clip on. It's a pendant. Really pretty faux jade. So, oh, I found a brooch. Well, Mother of Pearl. My f Let's see here. Yeah. That's, that's cute. Um, that's pretty much it. It's all... Yeah. I'm getting beads and just a couple single earrings. Yeah, this is... There's like two handfuls of this. That's pretty much what the bottom looks like right now. But um, that's pretty much it. This 15 pound lot from Virginia. So it did come with some fun pieces. Um, these earrings are, are fascinating though. It's like they're, they're pretty cool. There we go. There's the other piece to that one. 
Okay, folks, I'll see you in the next one. Um, and I'll show you guys um, what I got at the thrift stores. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do the... I'll just, I'll just <clears throat> play by ear and see how it goes. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just, like, rambling now. So, <laughs> all right, you guys have a good one. Um, if you made it this far, thank you so much. That we're, like, an hour in. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Soho California Vintage, signing off.